But the New South Wales Premier has survived dual no-confidence votes as her former boyfriend faces another day of evidence at the corruption watchdog. The motion was defeated narrowly in the upper house after the party president was forced to break a vote deadlock. The no-confidence push was also defeated in the lower house. Disgraced former MP Daryl Maguire yesterday admitted to a string of allegations at the ICAC. The inquiry heard Mr Maguire used his status as a politician for his own financial gain and sought to monetise his parliamentary office. His relationship with the Premier is likely to be interrogated in today's evidence. Gladys Berejiklian earlier lashed out at reporter questions at a fiery coronavirus update as she maintains she did not turn a blind eye to her former boyfriend's business dealings. Two days after the New South Wales Premier, it was her former lover's turn to take the stand at the ICAC. The corruption watchdog is investigating former MP Daryl Maguire's business dealings. Today, he admitted he used his position to make money. During the period from 2012 to 2018, you sought to monetise your offices as a Member of Parliament, Parliamentary Secretary and Chair of the New South Wales Parliament Asia Pacific Friendship Group with a view to making money for yourself and making money for your associates. Yes. The ICAC heard his office was being used to receive thousands of dollars from an alleged cash for visas scheme targeting wealthy Chinese nationals. It involved a company, Gateway International, which Mr Maguire was heavily involved in. He told the hearing the success fee for a visa was $20,000, but Maguire did not declare these payments. At least as you understood it in June of 2014, Gateway International was in the nature of a of a partnership in the sense of multiple people working together with a view to achieving a common goal of making some money. Oh, yes. As Daryl Maguire fronted the ICAC, Premier Gladys Berejiklian faced more questions about their five-year affair and was once again forced to defend her leadership, this time attacking what she says were offensive questions about her character. I have been honestly overwhelmed and sustained by the support the people of this state have shown me in the last few days and my message excuse me let me finish let me finish okay i've given you your turn for the last three days let me finish the premier's leadership is coming under increased pressure after phone taps of conversations between her and maguire revealed she knew about his business dealings in a text exchange tendered as evidence ms berejiklian congratulated mr maguire for receiving a five thousand dollar commission you were caught on tape telling Daryl Maguire you didn't need to know that bit when informed he would earn a secret commission from a property deal. There is nothing wrong that I have done or ever have done or ever will do. Key crossbenchers are threatening to derail state government legislation unless she resigns the Liberal leadership. Danika DiGiorgio, Sky News, Sydney.